So this is how the ghost comes, right? With the openings. Yeah. And we have the uh, right height turret going on today, guys. A little install on man Ellison. This guy knows what he's doing. You you give him a, a job, he makes it happen. Getting some marine grease and making sure we got good. Clean threads. Good clean, yeah, clean threads going in before we add the right height to it. Obviously got our shroud off. And the harder part for this install seems to be the wiring and the foot pedals that you're gonna have to get on your on your dash so you can turn the turret. We got the right height turret now. Bolts are nice threaded in. Marine grease helped. Make sure you add that if you need. Tightened up a couple of loose bolts, added a washer in here on the ghost, a couple of little things. Still got a little play here. It's a problem area on the ghost. This will be good for summertime when they're deep, maybe. Not that I fish much in the summer, it's too hot here. Wintertime, too. That's an easy mount. That's just right here, yeah. right? Yeah. Which is awesome. Now you don't have to use any of that stuff the, that grabs the yeah. shaft anymore. This one is shorter than uh -huh. when it comes with the original bracket. So if you send you one that's a little longer, uh -huh. so it can bolt onto here. Yep. And now I hate those. Those that go on the shaft of the trolling motors, they suck. And this thing's always moving. You got to constantly deal with it and tighten it and everything. Hopefully this stays a lot more stable and uh, doesn't come loose as easily. Time will tell, but I think it'll be better in that regard. Also, no, no, when testing, noticed that it wasn't um, going a full 180 degree turn to the front. Um, we were a little bit short on, the, on this side of the boat, so he had to adjust and turn it accordingly, and now we've got hopefully a full range I'd say that's pretty good. It's getting a full 90 degrees that way. Yeah. But it definitely gets more this way yeah. now. So once we found the right angle where we're getting the right range of motion, almost, because it doesn't go quite 360 degrees, right? So you gotta make sure you're getting the angle you want so you can get far left far right of the boat. Uh, right now we have it where we get pretty much all the way back here and we only have a little dead spot going about. This angle right here is a little bit of a dead spot where you won't be able to turn the turret. Um, but that's just the name of the game. And typically you're not gonna be setting up shop where you need to have that angle for the, um, for the turret while you're on spot lock. Of course, that's what the main benefit of it, of this is. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to have it facing forward when I'm trolling and I'll know that it's forward even when I'm at, a, at an angle uh, turning the boat or anything like that. Now we're getting the um, upgraded aftermarket stabilizer bar on because we've heard some stuff that, uh, well, for one thing, the, the one that comes with the right height turret, you have to take it on and off each time you drive. So after you get off the water, you'd have to put that stabilizer bar on, take it off when you get to, it's just one more thing to do. And nobody wants that when we're fishing, right? So we got this upgraded stabilizer bar that's gonna be much better and uh, keep this thing really secure so it doesn't wobble and move when you're running in rough water or obviously driving on the road as well. It's just an hour ahead. You're gonna have to get them lined up in the right height, of course. So leave it a little bit loose so you can find that right height, pun intended. This man's a pro. You might not be as good as Allison, but you'll get it. Yeah, this thing's pretty strong. So this thing will hold this thing in place pretty good. Still probably don't want to be hitting any massive waves might snap off the deucer or something. So we got everything done and installed here. The last thing that we did was um, 
take these screws off of the foot pedal. When you can pop this puppy right off and then either it's going to come with screw holes already in or you'll have to make a couple and you basically you just screw those into the um, deck of your boat real simple and you got your right and left going right there um, obviously you can turn them sideways whatever ends up working for you in fact sideways might have been a better way to go might have to do a little adjustment on that but moved our power pole over there and got it by itself over here and um you know got that stabilizer bar on no play at all transducer's good to go you got to match up your arrow right here to the direction that it's facing and just again make sure that you've got your rotation proper to where you want it um and yeah Hide your wires, some electrical tape coming down in here and good to go. And that's kind of going in to get to power and back out. So that's the install guys, right height turret, live scope made easy now.